Welcome to another video from ID Sense. My name is Vessel, and this is 5k subscribers a special request. Yes, that's right. Uh, my channel has completed around 5k subscriptions. So, in order to, you know, as a matter of celebrate it and appreciate you guys' effort, I am making this video series as per a special request. It's based on the number of requests that I receive from my subscribers and my viewers. And this series is about Hyper-V Server 2016 installation and configuration. Please do subscribe to my channel. Like, subscribe, notification, bell icon. Do everything because thanks to you. I reached the milestone, or this channel has reached a milestone of 5k. Slow and steady, but we are getting there. Okay. What is a subscriber special request series? Well, it, as I said, basically based on most number of requests. It's the top request that I received from you guys. So it's basically for you. It's a small gesture of appreciation from my side. There were some other topics on the line as well. One of the most frequently asked topic is Exchange DAG. So I was thinking to make video on Exchange DAG, regardless of the version, and to clarify some DAG concepts. Uh, please do let me know if you want me to do that. Uh, SCCM and VMware Horizon View were among the top requests, but Hyper-V 2016 took the cake. It had the clear lead, so just for you and I'm making this video series for you. Once again, please do subscribe to my channel and, and because your uh, appreciation will motivate me or help me to make more video series, more videos, and future posting will be totally dependent on uh, number of subscribers. And one more thing that uh, in this channel now, along with this training video series, I will be posting some other videos like some tech news that's about some special hardware, special software that I use and I liked it. I would like to share this with you or some special gadgets. Sometimes it's IT related, sometimes it's not IT related, but they are cool. And some way it's inspired me, so I would like to share this with you. So we will be uh, or I will be posting this, so we will be on this bandwagon that's more technology oriented, not just training, but training as well as some tech news, time by time. Okay, what does Hyper-V series will cover? It will cover like Hyper-V solution role, creating VMs, exploring VM options, Hyper-V maintenance, the type of files involved, failover clustering, live migration, load balancing, Hyper-V application, and much, much more. And this will be the lab topology. I'll have three Hyper-V servers, Hyper-1, Hyper-2, Hyper-3. They will be a part of failover cluster. There will be a server called storage that will be configured as iSCSI target. And these machines, so Hyper-V servers will be config connected to this shared storage as a iSCSI initiator. And on shared storage, you'll be creating some VMs and testing it out. On the other side, we we'll, I'll have another Hyper-V server called Hyper-4. This to configure a Hyper-V replication. And of course, a couple of PCs. If you want to do this lab or follow along, you can use VMware Workstation. You don't have to do, don't need exactly VC2. All you need is just five VMs, four for Hyper-V and one for the domain controller. Uh, and one for storage, yes. You may, if you want, may end up having storage on domain controller or sharing storage domain controller so your domain controller can work as an iSCSI uh, target. So this is it guys and I will see you in the first video once again thank you very much for your help and support and please do subscribe to my channel and let me know what you'd like to see. Cheers.